Okay, Georgia Bulldog fans, it's just one game, but it was a horrible game. The two-point win over Nichols proved to everyone what most hardcore fans already knew. This is going to be a process. This Georgia team is not a finished product. New head coach Kirby Smart told us he needed more talent and more time to get this program where it needs to be. The offensive line is not good. It's not a championship caliber line of scrimmage, and the talent of the six players playing is just ordinary. I'm not even sure there's a star on that offensive line. We know Nick Chubb is a great player, but every great running back must have a line of scrimmage. And then there's Jacob Eason. Look, Eason is no Jake Fromm, and I say that in jest, but Eason is a young kid who has a lot to learn. Yes, he should be starting, but he's going to struggle. This week when he faces his first SEC opponent, a team in Missouri with a good defense, you can bet Eason will struggle. Eason is going to have growing pains. Matthew Stafford, a quarterback who Eason is frequently compared to, struggled his freshman season. All young quarterbacks have ups and downs, and Eason will be no different. On defense, we at least know Georgia has a star in Trent Thompson. With all the issues the defense had against Nichols, Thompson stood out to continue to prove he's got a chance to be a special player. But Kirby Smart needs more time to fix the defense. There are young linebackers and a lot of players rotating on the defensive line. So this will also take time. I sound like I'm making excuses for Georgia. The expectations are always high for this program no matter what. But Smart told us this was going to be a process. He told us this might take time. And he wasn't going to waltz in the door and snap his fingers and make this Alabama East. That all being said, there was little excuse for the pathetic performance against a team that Georgia was favored by 50 points on Saturday. They do that against Missouri this weekend and it'll be ugly. They do that against Ole Miss next week and it'll be embarrassing. But maybe that game against Nichols was needed. Maybe Coach Smart needed that to bring Georgia back down to earth and let his players know they're not as good as they may have thought after week one. We'll see this week how they react to what could have been the most embarrassing loss in the history of Georgia football.